Lightning superbolts form over oceans from November to February every year. This is by University of Washington, September 9 article recently on Science Daily. It's the amazing power of these thunder, lightning, these lightning bolts that even shape the geography of the Earth. Lightning superbolts, which unleash a thousand times more low frequency energy than regular lightning bolts. They occur in dramatically different patterns than regular lightning, and according to a new nine year survey of these rare events. Rare events. University of Washington study maps the location and timing of these superbolts. Bolts that release electrical energy of more than one million joules or a thousand times more energy than the average lightning bolt, a thousand times more energy in the very low frequency range in which lightning is most active. Results show that these superbolts tend to hit the Earth in a fundamentally different pattern from regular lightning for reasons that are yet not fully understood. The study was published September 9 in the Journal of Geophysical Research titled Atmospheres, a Journal of the American Geophysical Union. Quote, it's very unexpected and unusual where and when the very big strokes occur. End quote. This is what lead author Robert Holtzworth, University of Washington professor of Earth and Space Sciences, who has been tracking lightning for almost two decades, says. They are unexpected and unusual where and when the very big strokes occur. Holtzworth manages the Worldwide Lightning Location Network, a University of Washington managed research consortium that operates about 100 lightning detection stations around the world, from Antarctica to northern Finland. And by seeing precisely when lightning reaches three or more different stations, the network can compare the readings to determine a lightning bolt's size and location. The network has operated since the early 2000s, and for the new study, the researchers looked at 2 billion lightning strokes recorded between 2010 and 2018. Some 8,000 events, 4 millionth of a percent, or 1 in 250,000 strokes, were confirmed as superbolts. He says, Holtzworth says, until the last couple of years, we did not have enough data to do this kind of study. The authors compared their network data against lightning observations from the Maryland-based company Earth Networks and from New Zealand's Met Service. The new paper shows that superbolts are most common in the Mediterranean Sea, the Northeast Atlantic over the Andes, with lesser hot spots east of Japan, in the tropical oceans and off the tip of South Africa. Unlike regular lightning, the superbolts tend to strike over water. Quote, 90% of lightning strikes occur over land, Holdsworth said, but the superbolts happen mostly over the water, going right up to the coast. In fact, in the Northeast Atlantic Ocean, you can see Spain and England's coasts nicely outlined in the maps of superbolt distribution. The average stroke energy over water is greater than the average stroke energy over land. We knew that, Holdsworth said. But, he continues, that's for the typical energy levels. We were not expecting this dramatic difference, he said. The timing of year for superbolts also does not follow the rules for typical lightning. Regular lightning hits in the summertime. The three major so-called lightning chimneys for regular bolts coincide, coincide with summer thunderstorms over the Americas, Sub-Sahara Africa, and Southeast Asia. However, the superbolts, which are more common in the northern hemisphere, strike both hemispheres between the months of November and February. Between November and February. The reason for the pattern is still mysterious. Some years have many more superbolts than others. Late 2013 was an all time high, and late 2014 was the next highest, with other years having far fewer events. Holdsworth said, we think it could be related to sunspots or cosmic rays, but we're leaving that as stimulation for further research. 
For now, we are showing that this previously unknown pattern does exist. So this is from the University of Washington, originally written by Hannah Hickey. And uh, journal reference is R.H. Holtzworth, M.P. McCarthy, J.B. Brundle, A.R. Jacobson, J.C. Roger, Global Distribution of Supervolts, Journal of Geophysical Research Atmospheres, 2019, DOI, University of Washington. This is on Science Daily. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.